So hey Mark, how you doing? You're in Hawaii. I'm in uh, I'm in England right now, so pretty like opposite sides of the world. Cold and uh, here and uh, pretty pretty warm and sunny over there. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, it's been pretty warm this year, so can't complain. Yeah. Is it what warmer than normal? Is it? Uh, when I arrived, yeah, I, and uh, it was weird, but it hadn't rained in a in a lot of months actually, like in the whole summer. And all the way until I arrived, it didn't rain at all. So everything was pretty dry, like for being Maui. So, okay. yeah. but now we're how's, how's the wind and, and the waves this year? So we had good wind, I would say, for being this time of the year. But uh, the swells have been weird. Like we, a lot of the days just felt like it was uh, spring, beginning of summer, you know, and you get this uh, tiny, wind swells and where it's almost flat so yeah i want to talk today about the the fanatic grip which is the kind of exciting new board for fanatic this year um as i said like the 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 grip has kind of stayed the same for a number of years before that um and then this year there was obviously a big sort of change and so yeah i, I was just wondering what your what kind of insights you can give us to like how do you get from that old model to the new model um, I know you do a lot of testing, like I've seen you in different places and always trying things, um, putting like weird things on the boards, all the little details you're really into. So it'd be cool to find out, yeah, how do you even start with, with something like that? Um, yeah, so basically I wanted for myself, I wanted something a bit more radical. Uh, I was a bit more turning. So we started working like from different kind of rocket lines that they had. And then, yeah, uh, I had some other rocket lines that they were quite a bit different than, than the actual production now. But uh, yeah, basically they had like other problems, like they were a bit slower or whatever. So then at some point in summer 2021, um, I had a meeting with a, with uh, Sebastian in class and uh, yeah then basically uh, we got together and just tried to figure out a little bit what uh, what could work uh, uh, for what I was yeah, kind of looking for and um, then basically he shaped me uh, one board with a production rocker line with a weird bottom shape that I asked for which had like a V into double concave into a single concave and then like a little bit of V out the tail. And then another one just with plain V. And yeah, basically the one, the weird one with all these concaves and stuff was the one that I was using. And then the the V one felt really nice, like soft rail to rail. Um, you know, but it was just easier to use than the concave one. But for but yeah, um uh, it felt like for me a bit stiffer and and um uh, and not as fast. Uh, so yeah, that then the uh, the guys they changed it and they basically they made that V board. Um, and I think they decreased the V a little bit and then they put like a different concave. And yeah, that's basically the, the production board now. Uh, you know, because when when they did the the testing uh, at that time it was the the one that came out yeah doing the best you know uh, yeah taking all the boxes the, the best uh so yeah basically the rocker is uh, yeah quite a bit more uh, extreme than the old grip you know but I, I i still feel like it planes early and i would say it's almost a touch faster in a straight line sometimes just because with that extra rocker, it, it does give a bit more release. So it translates a bit into higher top speed. Um, so yeah, basically that's the, until now that the productions came out, I had just been uh, uh, been using, uh, like for POSO, I had just basically the, the new production boards, but with the old graphics. Um, yeah. yeah, I had that, that uh, 81 grip, and then I had uh, yeah. a 70, uh, 26 i think it was um so that's what i competed on uh all the time and then yeah then now i just received the production board and 
and I have been using I have been using that. So is it fair to say that you are kind of the main main guy behind this new board? I know obviously Victor and and other people and Arthur will be trying it out, but we, was it kind of coming from your idea with the shaper or? Yeah, I mean, at the end, it was uh, just Sebastian that did the the board. You know, I just kind of asked uh, for for certain things, and you know, and for a bit more turny board, and you know, to to kind of uh, correct uh, some of the issues I I was having uh, with the older grip, let's say, mm. and you know, in the end, that Sebastian. You know, for example, the outline and. And tail shape and stuff and stuff. This uh, and the rails. This was, uh, yeah, this was uh, my idea and uh, that I brought into, I brought to to the table already uh, quite early when I signed with them. And you know that outline we, yeah, I've been using on my boards, uh, yeah, since uh, my first customs pretty much with the fanatic. Yeah, you know, which is like a bit more pulled in nose, white point a bit further back. Uh, bit wider tail i like a, I like the feel of the wider tails uh, especially with the smaller waves I feel like you carries a bit more speed and then it creates a bit more a push against the you know when you push off the top it creates a bit more push against your foot so yeah that uh, and the same with the soft rails uh, i feel like it gives a lot of smoothness on your bottom turn through the chops and it helps like this kind of a smooth kind of pivot when you when you lean on the front part of the rail so yeah mm -hmm. all these little things uh yeah well, i brought them in like i brought the, those ideas in but uh yeah rocker line and stuff and the end is uh, the shaper sebastian that does it and makes everything work uh, perfect okay yeah no it sounds interesting i was just wondering like I know like Brazino, for example, and other people have like stacks of boards and like, yeah. uh, you know, for one specific condition, they'll use this one and that one. And like, at the moment, how many boards do you have? How many customs and productions? And do you have some boards for, for kind of different kind of conditions? Uh, right now at the moment, I just have one board. Um, basically, the one I still have that it's different to the production, it's that concave one one with a bit more complicated bottom shape which okay. is the one you know if i have to travel with the uh, one board quiver i i would probably take that one because it's a uh, half a cm wider than the production it's a bit has like a couple liters more and yeah i i quite like that the uh, bottom shape uh because i can i can uh, generate a bit more drive but uh, it's uh, for, as a production board, it's a bit too complicated. Yeah, uh, you know, and it takes a bit more of the sailor to to use it. Yeah, you know. Um, so yeah, basically that's the only different board I have, uh, which is basically just a production with a different bottom shape. And uh, but yeah, in Denmark and all the other places, I've been just using the productions. Yeah. Okay. But like, if you want to go somewhere that's like uh like super like big down the line or something like that would you have a do you have like a different board that you might use for that or would you use at the, the moment you know? not at the moment i just have the the productions and uh yeah and this one that's pretty good just, yeah sort of one one board does all kind of thing yeah yeah exactly you know and in yeah you know i, I know how it works i can i know the how far I can push it, I know, you know, the limits pretty much, and um, uh, yeah, and the fin setup, how I need to set them up and, and stuff. So for me, it's uh, yeah, I can squeeze quite a bit out of it to be honest, and in trying quite a few boards and stuff, and I quite like uh, like just the the performance it gives, yeah, the production boards, and this one it just yeah, I can get what I want out. Of it. Yeah. Um, just like maybe a little bit off topic, but like the actual kind of like tail shapes of how many kind of different types of tail shapes you try, because there's, you know, quite a variety out there and like different different brands and how yeah. much do you think that plays a part in in the kind of style or, or the kind of way you ride the boards or how they turn like pin um... tails and round tails and, and swallow tails and stuff. 
yeah so basically me I, I quite i've always been using swallows like even like years ago when i was with simmer and i was still using production boards i used to chop the tails of my board oh, right. and i used yeah i used to make them uh swallow tails like a tiny okay. bit short swallow tails yeah and i feel like it gives a bit more of that uh quick transition and um uh, and i feel like having like the tip of the swallow it kind of creates like a creates like a grip point as well um squash tails uh i've tried as well i like them too i feel like um they create a nice surface and you get a bit more feedback when you push um which i think it, they are nice as well um and then pintails I have tried, but you know I'm not a yeah the biggest fan of. But I right. yeah. I think they are pretty smooth, you know. Yeah, I mean we and see then, like with the Bruce balls of Julian and stuff, they got some pretty radical kind yeah, of yeah. Like they have this diamond tail. That's like yeah. an exaggerated thing, yeah. like version of a pin tail. But yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I yeah in general I, I prefer swallow tails. Like, for instance, if I was just a normal windsurfer uh, and, like, picking a kind of a board from a brand to use, do you think it kind of, you should pick your board on, depending on kind of, like, what style you you kind of want? How am I, I'm wording this badly. So, like, for example, say, yeah, if you want to, like, ride, like, Mark Paré, you're going to go for a Fanatic, or if you want to ride, like, Philip Costa, maybe you want to go for Savern. Do you think that's, actually kind of true or do you think you can kind of work your style into kind of whichever board if you know what that means. yeah that makes sense yeah yeah uh i would say it's a mix of both you know uh you can you're gonna have to adapt your style to the kind of board you know so at the end of the day you, you gotta uh, pick the like the kind of style that you you think you would like the most, I would say, mm. but at the same time, uh, that I write the board one way doesn't mean it has to be written written that way, mm. you know. For example, Victor has a complete different style than me. I think exactly and that's kind of what I want. Know, yeah. I, I push way more than him, and I'm way more aggressive, and he kind of just leans, and he's pretty like smooth, and yeah. you know um so yeah i mean you know arthur is different than i am as well he's like a bit more snappy and you know he likes a different kind of turn and line mm -hmm. but i feel like uh yeah you can uh you have to see what you like but uh you your your style can adapt to to it and you will have to adapt to the board a little bit as well yeah i think like, that kind of brings me on nicely to um like how how you can tune the board to like for your kind of style so like would victor tune the board kind of radically different to you because um, he has a different style do you think uh, victor has the master touch forward and me like half a cm um okay. and my fin foot strap position we use the same uh and uh, i have my fin cluster closer than he does you know Plus, uh, on my front fins, I normally ride asymmetric fins. So that makes a big difference as well. Uh, yeah, the reason why I ride asymmetric fins, I might sacrifice a little bit of uh, comfort and uh, and speed, but I feel like uh, I can increase, you know, I can, uh, my turning radius gets tighter. So. Mm. That's We're talking about like the fins and in terms of one side will be asymmetric and they are towed in and they're towed in as well. Yeah. 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 And Victor's are kind of just straight on. Yeah, but, yeah, but Victor just uses the standard uh straight straight up fin. Okay. Um, I feel like for me I need that, that extra kind of a kick and squirt of the bottom. Okay. Uh, that the that asymmetric gives me. So for me personally, on the old grip, I had to put the mask track quite far back. Is that the same thing with the new one? Um, 
I use it pretty much in the same position, yeah. But the reason why I do that, I sacrifice planing and the board gets a bit more nervous. But the reason why I do that, it's because I'm pretty tall. So when I lean forward, I push hard as well. And that uh, brings the rail into the water a lot. So if I put the mass track forward even more, I find myself digging the board all the way to the nose. Yeah. And then, you know, I don't optimize the, the board anymore. So that's the reason why my mass track is pretty far back. Is it like sort of going into that little square or? Yeah, it's like a quarter into the square sometimes, like, or just basically stepping on the on the square. Okay, it's pretty far back. Yeah. Okay. And then the straps, are they like, I mean, you're pretty tall, but are they like completely the most extreme positions? I I have it all the way, the front ones are all the way to the front. Yeah. The back one is uh, once once uh, one hole from the from the back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And would you recommend even for like people like me, slightly smaller, to still try and keep it as, as sort of far apart or play around with it? Uh, no, you you can uh, you can put it a bit closer together. Mm. Yeah. You, know, you, you will have to find out where your best balance is. You know. Yeah. If it's either like uh, moving the back one a little forward, mm -hmm. but then you're gonna struggle a bit more with a bottom turn, right. you not know, to get that extra squared when you push it off the back foot. Mm. You know, but you might get like a bit more push off the top, um, you know, or, or if you just wanna bring the front ones a tiny bit further back, and then the board to be a bit more nervous, and then maybe put the mass like a touch forward, you know, has to. You, every each one of us has to figure out, you know, what the best setting is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's not a magic recipe. Mm. Uh, and then lastly, like the fins, uh, can you give us like a quick kind of overview on sort of the quad and the thruster? And like for me personally, I put I put the the quad set up in my sixty nine, and I pretty much put it like in the middle of both boxes, and they seem to work all right, but. What are your kind of opinions on that? Uh, uh, I use the rear fin right under my foot, and a bit like the so the trailing edge falls like uh, with the back of the strap, you know, yeah. like that. Yeah. And and then basically I I put about two fingers like no I put my fingers like that, mm. and then uh, and then I, I put the, the the front fins according to that. And let's say if I need a bit more the board to be a bit more tight, I'm gonna cluster them a little more. If I need to be the board to be a bit more drivey, I put them a tiny bit further forward. And what I do a lot of the times is my bottom turn side, it's like half a cm further forward than my top turn side. Yeah. So then you get like a tighter top turn, and then you get a like a bit more drive in the bottom turn. Yeah. That's interesting. So you don't really put the fins in terms of like so you start with the with the back fin and you put that towards where your foot is rather yeah. than like anywhere in the box exactly and then from there you decide where your your front fin yeah so you're gonna have yeah. your front fins pretty far back i i'm guessing because that cluster uh, is pretty small so you're gonna have to put them quite far back no it actually falls no it, it's not so far back because okay. you need to think my, my back foot is not in the last hole it's like yeah. one it's like one before the last one, so okay. it's not super far back. So that 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 rear fin is actually a little bit forwards to help bring it together. Yeah. Okay. It's like a half a cm to one cm mm -hmm. to the front of the box. Yeah. Just an idea. And then just yeah. lastly, just to finish it up with the with the thruster setup. Uh, you you I've seen you kind of test test sort of the thruster setup on sort of prototypes and customs. And we've got that five fin box in that in that sort of uh, in the new grip. So have you have you tested it out as a thruster in the in the production? Yeah, on the production, I feel and my old customs. Well, my the customs I had in Poso with that one, I used the. Uh, I used the thruster setup, my good one, like with asymmetric sides and and everything, and I didn't feel. Like it was suiting that board, yeah. So I would say a quad setup 
it's gonna suit that board a bit more uh because it, it was getting a bit stiff with the with the thruster um so yeah with the with the quad the board felt uh, a bit smoother and uh you know it didn't feel as stiff and and then what i did was i put the asymmetric quads as well on the side uh about three degrees i guess they are and then uh yeah and then the, the board just uh came alive i liked it a lot like that okay for my stuff I, I saw uh, Arthur I uses it as a as a thruster. Or is that a custom as well? Uh, no, he tried it as a thruster, and then he went back to the quad as well. Went back to you the know, quad. yeah, yeah. So, you know, I with the production fins, the board works good. You yeah. know, then uh, if you, yeah, you wanna if you are a bit adventurous and you wanna try some asymmetrics and see if you like it, I I recommend it as well. You know. Okay. It's just not for everyone, I would say. Mm. You know? are, you using, are you using kind of a mix of different fins and custom fins as well? Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I have like some polyester rears, and then now I have uh, like my quads. There are some G10 quads that Kai Hoff made me, and the same. All, all my front fins there from uh, Kai Hoff, the sail designer. And yeah, yeah. They're pretty good fins. Okay. Any any last words you want to say about the the grip? No, I think I, I let I let all the that's good. Yeah, all my settings out like that. Uh, all I can do is send you a photo if you want of my fin setup, and then you can have a look. That'll be, that'll be interesting, and like to see the the foot strap position with the fins and stuff like yeah. that for the people to to see that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, I, I guess we're gonna look forward to that sale coming out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, enjoy, Mark. Keep Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Yeah, see right. you. Bye bye.